Hello everyone. Here is a projectile problem. In this problem, a basketball is shot and enters a basket and we are supposed to find the distance from the player or the point that the basketball is shot and uh, to the basket. So we are supposed to find this distance. So the height that the basket is shot is given, which is 2.4 meters. The initial velocity of the basketball is given when it is shot, 12 meters per second. And also the angle with the horizontal is given also, which is 35 degrees. And we are supposed to find how far this distance is. And also the height of the basket is given, which is 3.05 meters so the first step to calculate is since we have already got the initial velocity and we have already got the angle we better to find the components of the velocity which are x and y so first of all we will find v sub x v sub x means the velocity or the component of the velocity towards x axis okay and v sub y that means the uh, component of the velocity towards y-axis. So v, act, v sub x is equal to v times cosine alpha, or this angle which is given. And similarly, v y is equal to v times sine alpha, which is equal to 12 times cosine alpha cosine 35 degrees and here 12 times sine 35 degrees which we can get the answer here cosine 35 degrees is uh, is equal to 0 0.819 and here is 0 0.573 this is the the value of sine 35 degrees so we multiply and then we will get the answer which is for um, the, the horizontal component of the velocity we will get 9.88 meters per second and for the vertical component of the velocity we will get 6.87 meters per second so this is these are the values of uh, the component of the velocity right but in the first part it says how far from the basket was the player if he made a basket that means the ball enters the basket at this point uh, so we know that in order to find the distance the horizontal distance we simply need two uh, parameters and one is the uh, horizontal component of the velocity and also the time and the reason is because the uh, horizontal component of the velocity will never change from the beginning to the end of the trajectory and the reason is because we ignore air resistance in our problem we ignore air resistance so therefore it will stay constant from the whole uh, parts of this motion so simply we say uh, x, this distance is equal to vx times t. So we have already got v sub x, which is the horizontal component of the velocity. and uh, but, but we don't have the t, which is the time. How long does it take for the ball, basketball, to enter the basket? Okay, We need to calculate that. So in order to find this t the time, the total time, we need to use the kinematic equation. So one kinematic equation I will use is delta H. I will write delta H because uh, I am using it towards y-axis. Delta H is equal to a half of, instead of A acceleration, I will write G, which is the gravity, um, acceleration due to gravity times t to the power of 2 plus v sub naught y times t right but then i will look at the problem 
and then I will see that the first point that the ball, the basketball is, is 2.4 meters and the second position is 3.05 meters. So I will call this one H1 and this one H2, two different positions, okay? So therefore, I can uh, calculate delta H here, which is the displacement or the difference between the, these two positions, okay? Then I will write delta H is equal to H sub 2 minus H sub 1. That means the second position minus the first position, right? So the second position here is uh, 3.05 meters minus and the first position is 2.4 meters, right? Is equal to a half of g is always negative we take it negative uh, is equal to because in this case is deceleration when it goes here until it uh, stops it is deceleration so we will get it we will take it as negative and from there to the basket it is acceleration but since the direction of g is towards down we give it a negative sign so the in the whole trajectory g is negative negative 9.8 times t to the power of 2 plus v sub not y that means the initial velocity of y component which is equal to 6 6.8 87 meters per second times t right so now we have got an equation here we have got an equation we just need to multiply and then uh, just simplify this equation we will get here from this part we will get 0 0.65 meters is equal to negative 4.9 t2 plus 6.87 t right and uh, again we rearrange it and then we will get this equation which is negative 4.92 plus 6.87 t minus 0 0.65 is equal to zero so this is a quadratic equation and then we know that we will get two answers so normally we say the answer which is negative we don't accept and the answer which is positive we will accept and then we will take that but in this case if you solve this problem you will get two answers and both of them are positive t1 sub 1 and t sub 2 t sub 1 is equal to 0. 102 seconds and then the next one is 1.3 seconds both of them are positive but which one do we need to use here if we look carefully at the diagram the basketball moves and reaches this h2 in two points one at the beginning here is 3.05 meters and then it goes up and then it comes down again to enter the basket and here is the second time that the basketball gets to this height right so for the first height here the time that it takes is here 0.5 102 this is the time it takes for the basketball to move from here to there but we don't need this time we want the time that the basketball reaches the basket enters the basket so this is t2 which is a larger value which is 1.3 seconds so this is the time which the basketball takes is 1.3 seconds right so we accept this t 
Now we will just uh, substitute in the equation and then we will get x is equal to v sub x which was 9.88 9.88 meters per second times this t which is 1.3 seconds and the answer is 12.77 meters so this is the answer for part a right but part b says at what angle to the horizontal did the ball enter the basket so we need to calculate the angle at what angle this basketball enters the uh, basket and the angle is measured with respect to the horizontal so this means this angle is what is the value of this angle in order to find this angle we need to use the components of the velocity at the end that we have got so at the end so let me say this is part b so when it enters the basket it has a velocity which we don't know the value of this velocity but also we need to find the angle we also need to find the angle okay angle is how much what is the value but we can find the components of this velocity so one component vx is here we already have it 9.88 meters per second and vx v sub x stays constant okay stays constant during the trajectory we need v y v let's just uh, denote it as v sub y final because final means the point that it enters the basket right and it's not the same as the v sub y that we calculate here this is the initial velocity towards y axis but here we are supposed to find the final velocity towards y-axis at this point, right? So then we can uh, use the tang, arc tang, and then we can find the angle. And also, we can also find the value of the velocity as well. So we say V sub y final here is equal to, I will use the kinematic equation v sub not y plus g t right and uh, from this equation i can calculate that which is equal to v sub y the initial velocity towards y-axis is 6.87 so i will write it 6.87 meters per second plus g is always negative we take it negative 9.8 meters second square times t t here is the total time that it takes and the total time we already found which is 1.3 seconds so once we multiply this we will get the answer which is v y final is equal to negative 5.87 meters per second and why the answer is negative it must be negative because the direction of the y here the final y is towards down and that must be is downward that must be negative now we can use the arc tangent and we can simply find the alpha alpha is equal to arc tangent vy over vx v sub y final let's say over vx which is equal to arc tang negative 5.87 over 9.83 which is equal to negative so this is alpha negative 30.96 degrees so this is the value of alpha and Again, this is negative and it must be negative because as you 
see here the alpha is negative below the horizontal so this is negative so and that's why the answer is negative right all right thanks for watching this video if you found this video useful please like and subscribe